Hello everyone. In this session today, we are going to look at enrichment widgets within Entity Behavior and uh, within Microsoft Sentinel. And for that, we will click on Microsoft Sentinel and uh, from the list of Sentinel instances, we are going to choose the current instance. And once that loads, we are going to go to Entity Behavior under left navigation. And within that, uh, as you can see, Entity Behavior basically lists out all the specific entity uh, sorted by the number of alerts they're generating. So next, we will go to Enrichment Widgets. And once we go to Enrichment Widgets, it is going to show up a page wherein we should be able to configure much more uh, enrichment capabilities and for this example, we are going to use virus total. So just to make sure the demo goes fine, I've already created a key vault as you can see. And when you come here for the first time, you need to create it and it gets created. And when it gets created, uh, what happens basically is, I'll quickly switch on to the key vault and go to the access policies. It adds Azure security insights by default as an identity with get and list secret permission so that in future sentinel can actually access that credential and then for example virus total what we are going to do is edit the credential and uh, though it's already added uh, as you can see basically in the left navigation all the fields are pre-filled and only it is looking for the api key so we are going to switch to the virus total place to look at the api and i will copy the api key from here it's copied go back to that particular screen and paste here and once we paste here click on review and create it is uh, fundamentally an arm deployment which is happening behind the scene and once that's done right i will hit create after the validation and as you see like any other arm deployment it is initializing the deployment and uh, submitting and then we should also be getting completed shortly the deployment gets completed all right and i don't want to save it and once it's get completed we just see it is completed so we're going to go to microsoft azure once again sentinel and once sentinel loads in we will be going to the particular instance and then again entity behavior and let's say we open for example this particular ip address right so if i click on that so as like any other entity it is going to show up the alerts in the center in the fundamental details in the left navigation we may need to give it a few moment to load up and then we would look at the incidents on the right hand side and at the current moment what it is basically doing is it is also making a call to virus total to check the reputation of that ip address as you can see here in the left navigation it is giving the geolocation right which is already done by microsoft behind the scenes and uh, also on the right hand side once uh, the insights load we should be able to see the insights around virus total as you can see it's basically picked up this on the real time and if i click on the virus total report it is going to open up a new tab in virus total and it is going to show me much more details for that ip address uh, from a reputation standpoint right and uh, which you can also will be seeing in the screen right now as you see here now just to verify that the api key we have uh, given as input is used so what we are going to do is go to the virus total api and quickly refresh the page and once we refresh the page um, if you observe the number of API hits will go up compared to the last time. As you can see, it has basically gone up over here. That means the API is being used. Thank you for watching.